Hey everyone, Lens Renault here and welcome to First Look Friday. Uh, today's game is Orbit Industries by Lab132 and published by Clubata. Clubata. Uh, it's a resource management space sim. It looks pretty cool um, from the videos that I've seen and the images I've seen. So uh, I reached out to the devs and was able to get a copy, so thank you to them. Uh, let's just jump right in. I'm running it in DirectX 12 mode now that, you know, the, hopefully we'll get some ray traced stuff happening here. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And um, fingers crossed everything looks pretty. I don't quite have it on the highest settings. I've got it on uh, ultra mode for everything. Uh, so we will see uh, how we go. Um, I'm, I'm running a 3060, so it's not a high end, super high end card, but it's still a decent card. We will see what happens here. New mission. Uh, no time for caution. I'm guessing this was uh, while well, this is like the start. Uh, moderate errors. Normal product. Okay. While guarding the borders along the Galga system, a wrecked ship of an unknown species was discovered. Discoveries, discoveries like these always bring inherent curiosity and danger with them. Preparations for an investigation and or rescue mission are underway. Let's start it. I'm going in blind, by the way, everyone. I have not Good played at all. Here. This briefing will guide you through the main tasks in Orbit Industries. Your task will be to extend the station and produce resources. These resources are needed to generate income from contract work, so-called projects. Okay. Open the station management interface and have a look at the available projects. You can switch to that view by following the control instruction below. So push three. This view shows all projects which are currently available. Completing projects will produce income or unlock new technologies. And some will progress you through the mission. Icons inside the project entry show which kinds of resources are needed to start the project. If a system is missing that produces this resource, it is grayed out. In this case, a briefing center needs to be built before the project can be started. Okay. Uh, now go close this. The station can be extended at connectors. There are blue and yellow ones that each link specific modules. Select a blue connector since the briefing center can only be built there. What do you reckon? I reckon this one. Blue connector and enter. Navigate to BCE and confirm if some other module of the station blocks it, it will turn red and then you'll need to place it somewhere else. BCE. Wow, that's huge. You can see it's blocked here. So let's place somewhere else to rotate it. I mean, we can rotate it. Or we can pop it here instead. Probably wouldn't hurt, right? Okay, let's confirm it there. Modules that produce resources need to be wired to work. Switch to the abstract system layout to wire the briefing center system. Okay, here we go. This view lets you control which resources are produced. Only fully wired systems produce resources. These will be required by projects or other systems. This is one of the nifty things I saw in the screenshots. Well, uh, open the list for deployable systems to place the briefing center system. Okay. Select the briefing center system. I'm going to place it somewhere on the grid, so I need to rotate it. Let's just click it. Um, so we've got three connections here. We've got orange. I've got all three of these wires over here, so can we can move over here? Yes. Systems that. that are required by the briefing center are already placed and fully wired. Required systems are shown as input in the overview panel of a system chip or the chip itself. Time is currently stopped so no resource will be produced. Click on the time control buttons to start the time. Well, okay. 
I haven't connected anything. Connect all ports to the suitable existing wires. You can create new wires by selecting an existing wire or a port on the system. So if I grab here and go like that. Like so. Okay, yeah. I'm assuming that's where. The briefing center is fully connected. Projects that depend on it can now be accepted. Interesting. Doesn't seem to be any uh, in problem with crossing over here. So we can go back to that. Do I have to... Let the station management interface to start your first project. The project yep. is now ready to be started. Processing a project takes some time. You can see the progress when you select the tabs to filter on the left. Since it's 100 close and collect the reward. Wow, this is pretty full on. Close the SMI. Back to... ESV. Close it and collect the reward. And you close it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying, everyone. This is close this MI. How do I collect the reward? Things are, things are flowing. Progress is done. Big details. Oh, it's at 93. Not oh, 93, efficiency. And now I'm just confused. <laughs> Back in a second. All right, I'm winging it, but I've, I clicked up here. This says complete, and when you hover over it, we've got close here. More projects there you go. will be available from now on. Follow the mission projects to achieve the overall objective. Great success. Commander, a ship on its patrol on the Galbar system borders found a wrecked ship. The model and origin species could not be determined. They had asked us if we could investigate the shipwreck. Okay. That's cool. Now what? Is that a, is that a contract? Oh my. Strategic analysis. A wrecked ship, that's this one here. I hit start on it. The rescue team has been dispatched. We expect them to return in a few ticks with results. A running project occupies systems so they are unavailable for other projects as long as the project is active. I can start that one too because it was using a different module. These are the two that are currently working, and I'm assuming we get, this is the reward, you're getting 220 monies, whatever the money is. Um, but obviously we're it's costing resources to do it. It's dropping. Dropping by about four. One's at nine, 20%. This one's going to finish faster. That's okay. Again, we're, we're using modules and system, uh, systems that aren't, um, aren't being used. I don't know what this one does yet. We haven't connected it up. Supply and demand. I don't know. Can I? 
connected up anyway. Don't know if I'm meant to. Probably tell me to later. This one's getting closer. Six hundred percent. Make close. Let me get the money from it. Be aware that credits are only earned upon completion of projects. Credits. Okay, we got it. Uh, contracts. Research ones here we can't do yet. Uh, can I do any of these other ones? I can do this proof of life one. I'm gonna get five hundred eighty. 580 credits? 580, yeah, something like that. We may as well let it run. A set of samples from different planets must be chemically tested for the presence of simple molecules and other traces of life. Let's go back to our active ones. We're still at 57%. Taking a while. I mean, we could crank some speed up. Nine percent, seventy, seventy-one. So it's going okay now. Watching the money. Actually, uh, running through. Four, nine, five, twenty-seven. Nine. Commander, the rescue team has returned from shipwreck and the results are available for review in the station management interface. Commander, the rescue team recovered an encrypted data core from the unknown ship. Besides that, there was nothing more that could be rescued. I think we should task our scientists to decrypt the data core as soon as possible. Okay. Duh. So I need to... That other thing, I need the lab. It's being used at the moment. Shouldn't be far off finishing. What else have we got that we could do while we're waiting? Nothing really. It needs what needs this yellow one, whatever that is. And if I start any of these I'll use its power probably. Power? Yeah, it's power. Ninety four. I mean, we can try it. The uh, start that one. Good, good, good. All right. Let's let's see. Is that one finished yet? Uh, proof of life is done, and we can close it. And we go back to our contracts or our open positions, I guess. Uh, encrypted data. We'll start Our this one. Our best data engineer started to decipher the encrypted core. At a first glance, the used encryption does not reflect any known algorithms to us. This might take a while. You think? Okay, cool. So we've got the other thing running at the same time. 72 ticks. I'm assuming is the... Oh, this must be how long it's going to take. And then obviously each second or so, a couple of seconds, um, is is it processing over? Yep. Okay. Cool. We're getting there. Working out time. Obviously, we're going to have some more modules to build. This one should be ready. Putting an analysis of distribution of troops in the quadrant. I don't think there's any other text you can. Okay. Different stuff in here and a finance overview. And in some money. Apparently we've got loans, do we? Oh no, we've we don't have any loans. Excellent. I like it. Uh, this one will take few more ticks yet. A little bit over halfway. Uh, what are the contracts? 81 ticks. Kind of looking at the how long things are going to take. 
Hit that one. Uh, what other modules can we build though? Like if we go to build, what's we got? Like build another lab. One of them here somewhere. Fence is the BCE one. Briefing center. Commerce. Interesting. Now you could rotate this around. Rotate it that way, it blocks it. I don't think I could squish it in there. Even rotated. Alright, cool. Go back to this. Are we out with active? A little bit of time left. Just a bit to complete. And Good done. News, Commander. Our data engineer successfully deciphered the recovered data core. Results are ready to review in the station management interface. Okay, well, I don't see the results. It just has a, you know, no, nothing else. No other. Commander, breaking the encryption was a hard task for all staff involved, but it seemed to be just the tip of an iceberg of secrets. Against expectations, the data core did not only hold ship logs, mapping coordinates, or crew diaries. While some data couldn't be restored, a big part of it looked like a compendium of cultural, historical, and technological information. An extensive data comparison should be carried out in order to determine similarities with known data. Okay. So we're going to need this. We're going to need the ADM that I was just looking at. So I don't think we have an ADM yet, do we? Airlock lab, habitat. Right, no, so we're going to need to do the ADM, right? So let's click here and push enter and we're going to make the ADM. I'm going to rotate it. Just in case we've got something small we can drop into this spot at some point. Um, but let's build that. And I'm guessing we've got to go in here and get ADM thing. Deployable system, ADM. Administration, so let's just rotate this thing around. Put in there. Every system that is placed costs upkeep each tick. The amount can be seen on the overview panel of systems or their modules. The global income and expenditure of your station is listed inside the station management interface in the tab finance overview. We are currently. Upkeep is 5.74, so we need to make sure we're staying on top of things by doing um, okay by doing actual missions. So this one can be started now. The team is eagerly starting to filter and category the vast amount of new data. Plus 41 ticks. So again, it's just keeping that that income coming in. And making sure that we're we're bringing in what we've, what we've got to do. Oh, sounds like something just finished. Okay. Anything else we can run? We could probably run this one. It's literally just jumping backwards and forwards, making sure we're bringing money in. Um, so we're, we're at a bit of a, a, a plus so far for the last 100 ticks. Just need to make sure I keep, keep on top of it. So we're still doing okay 
so far with with uh, with our monies. Just everything. Got. We're all going to take a little bit. Let's speed this up a touch. Relevant error evaluation one will pop next. Yeah, we'll we'll be okay. Really, is just a case of making sure we have things continuously running. Close. One's about to pop. Close. Let's slow down again. This one's going to take a little bit longer. Let's look at whatever contracts we have. For the better, obviously. This one's 81. This one's 59. Let's just do this one. It takes two labs or two things. When a reactor was flooded with P radiation. Okay. Port and equipment is left behind and now has to be recovered. So apparently that's taking stuff. Active. Okay, this one should finish very shortly. Let's crank it up. How's our money going? We're doing okay. We're still we're still okay in terms of positive revenue. We'll keep the revenue positive. Um, I suppose I should say that uh, this game does have a demo over on Steam. You can go and check it out. Uh, it is currently on sale for ten percent off, um, which will expire in the next day or so. Commander, the administration has filtered and categorized the data from the recovered data core. We should see what they found. Data comparison showed that 92% of the contained and readable information was similar to already known knowledge. Within the 8% left that was unknown, star position data extracted from the core showed that the ship was from an unmapped region near the center of the galaxy. Not reachable within the current technical limits and based on its age and engine, the ship could not have traveled the distance by itself. Given the origin of the data, to determine the further procedures with the game's knowledge, a commission of external consultants, experts and decision makers should be formed. Okay, so for us to do this next mission, I actually need a second one of those things we just built. Um, probably need a second lab at some point too, so let's go to the ASL, oh, sorry, exterior. We're going to need to build another one of these. So let's look at this and build another ADM. Again, I'm going to rotate it like that. Okay. And then I wouldn't mind another lab. No, can I squeeze a lab in somewhere? How big are the labs? A little large. Don't squish in there at all. I wish I could rotate this. I rotate. So nice. Good. Uh, can I pop another lab up in here then? We can. Alright. Oh, I need to get it ASL. I need to do the second ADM. In the second lab, and start getting very messy in here. This we want. Not connected. and good connected it'll take a moment efficiency starting to drop we probably do need to work on there is yet another resource that all systems need which is not distributed through wires workforce in this mission you started with some workforce already this resource is needed to keep the efficiency of other systems at their maximum 
so in the end, they will produce faster. Building and connecting workforce systems will increase the maximum workforce that is available on your station. It will slowly increase until it reaches the limit. You can see the available workforce on the left and the required on the right side of the parameter panel. I need to connect another module. Is that how this works? Habitat module? I if I can squeeze that in there. I can. The output of a system is distributed to its connected systems. If a system gets less than the maximum of any input resource, its efficiency is reduced. This will slow down progress of running projects that depend on these systems, while the upkeep cost of the used systems stay the same. Okay, so I assume that by connecting everything together it doesn't help. If I had this just connected to say these two, it would be okay, but I'm, I'm connecting everything together in one, one blob. We still don't. Hmm, interesting. That pretty much means that if if I could, I'm big these things. Can. I move the lab. Let me do this. Other oh, administration. Let's move this guy. Not that one. Oh. Move down a little. Move that to here. And then what I want to do is have there, I want to cut let's, let's just play around with this workforce to fully station all systems. Construction and deployment of additional workforce modules is recommended. Got it. I'm getting there. Hey, is that working? Oh, I need airlock as well, do I? Well, that's a pain. Oh, I mean, this. I suppose this one doesn't matter. It's the yellow one that, or the blue one that's people, right? No, that's that's everything. I don't know. I'm sort of winging this. Got the yellow, which is power. Guessing the airlock needs to be connected. I don't think that helps. I guess you gotta have everything connected. Unfortunate, but me 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 doing all that moving hasn't helped. Let's try right. Everything's flowing, but yeah, we probably need more of these modules. Efficiency is pretty terrible, but we also need some some money. Let's get some things going. Um, this one's only this one's thirty ticks. I'm just gonna do this one uh, to get some money in because I've just burnt a bit of money. I do want to start this one too. Otherwise, we're, we're going to have an issue. This one can be closed. 
that gave us some some cash. Uh, thirty ticks, fifty ticks. Yeah, we we did drop a bit of cash. Look at that. <laughs> Oops. Wow. That was me spending way too much. All right, let's um, finish up these two. We're getting pretty close to where I would normally wrap up a video. So, again, as I was saying before, um, it is available over on Steam. There will be a link down below. Uh, it's currently 10% off at 26 Australian dollars. So, whatever that is in your local currency. This came out on the 21st of April, 2022. Developed by Lab132 and published by Clubato, Clubata, um, Orbit Industries. Go and take a look if you're interested. It's, it's a different sort of spin so far on resource management. I'm still wrapping my head around that, this, this overview stuff. It's cool having the different levels. And I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that this gets quite large if you can... Uh, build connections and extra pieces like bridges which is quite interesting I'm sure we can let's see can we build bridge modules ALR is okay, oh these are all the connectors there you go so you can build a connector Different types of well. connectors on the preview module. You can choose between them. That, and then you could start bridging out. So you could put this big, long piece out, and then put a, a block connector on the end. So yeah, there's lots of things you can do. Lots of ways of making the uh, the station bigger to fit all the modules that you're going to need on it. I'm assuming we would need to put more power. I'm assuming we would need a few other bits and pieces. So I'm going to wrap up here. Go and check out Orbit Industries. It looks like a pretty different sort of game. Um, and I'm enjoying it so far, so I'll probably play a little bit more myself off camera. Um, but yeah, go and check it out. Follow the links below. Let me know your thoughts. And I will see you in the next one. Bye now.